Hey guys, it's Cost81 here. This is a face behind Cost81. And I'm here tonight because I've done some wrestling videos on YouTube and some playthroughs. And I promised you guys that I would start talking about more interesting stuff. Or at least what I am interested in. And tonight I'm going to bring you my top three paranormal experiences that I've had throughout my life. At number three, I was sitting in my old house in Lethbridge, Alberta. It was downtown Lethbridge. And it's condemned now. It's just nothing but a hole in the ground. But I was sitting there on the couch one night with my dog. He's a little papillon. Cute little bastard. But we had this ventilation pipe that came from the floor and went up to the roof. It was about eight inches thick. Anyway, I was sitting there one night and on my couch, kind of watching Trailer Park Boys on the TV. My dog was sitting beside me, and I look up at this pipe, and there was a yellow mist manifesting. And it was trying to turn into a face. It almost like it was turning into a face, and I'm sitting there watching this. And I look beside me, and my dog, he's seeing the same thing. Like, he's sitting there just staring intently at it, like, he starts barking, like just as it's trying to turn into a face, he starts barking and it's gone. Like it just fucked right off. But I thought that was pretty weird. I seen some things in my life and that was, like I said, it was weird. But anyway, that's that story. Part two. I was working on a job site one time in Medicine Hat, Alberta. And... I was upstairs, and they had a hole in the floor. They didn't have a stairs built going to the basement yet. But I was upstairs, and I walked by this hole in the floor. And in the basement, I seen a shadow figure walk through the basement. Is is this a black, smoky figure? It looked like he was wearing a cape. But the thing that stunned me the most was this figure cast its own shadow onto the cement blow and I'm like okay that's not a ghost that's gotta be my first thought was multi-dimensional something that's alive but because ghosts don't cast shadows but anyway that blew my mind number th well the last one I have to talk about is this house I lived in in Calgary Alberta and my dad and my brother lived there. My dad was dating this Bulgarian woman. And I had no place to go, so I moved there. And when I first walked into the house, I walked downstairs to the basement. And he kind of turned left, and there's this 10-foot hallway. As soon as I turned around and looked at the end of this hallway, I had a, like, a really bad feeling. I said to my brother, he was right behind me, I'm like, dude... There's a little girl at the end of the hallway staring right at me. There was nothing there, but I knew that there was something there. And she was a pissed off little spirit. I lived there for a while. My dad did the research on the place, and there was a little girl who died in that place, in front of the fireplace. I found her imprint. But she used to... Not only haunt that place, but haunt the neighbor's place because she used to play with the neighbor's kids and she was attached to that place as well. But I will tell more on that story when my brother is done because he has his stories of his own to tell about that place. He has more to elaborate on that. So I'll finish that story at a later time, but I just thought I had to put this out there. These are my experiences. If you guys like to hear more, I have experiences also, not only with paranormal, but UFOs and other stuff as well. But, if you like this video, if you like the story, like, comment, subscribe. Give me feedback. Positive feedback, negative feedback. Doesn't matter what it is, it's still feedback. If you like to hear something different, or if you like to hear more of my stories, just ask me. I'll tell you.
And other than that, guys, have a good night. This is Cost81 signing out. I might put some more video game videos on tonight. I'm not sure. But have a good night. Enjoy the video.